So now we wanted to implement all those steps in detail. So I go back on the step definition. What I need, I need a web driver. I need a web driver. Driver was null, for example, because though it's a, a global variable we have defined here. Now I have a URL. So if you have URL, we wanted to set up something here. Like if I wanted to open on Chrome this time, what I said, I wanted to open this on the Chrome. I have the Chrome driver as well. So I said, I wanted to do some system dot set system dot set property. And here I want to write my code that is web driver. Driver. Okay. And I said what I need here, I need the whole path. So I go back and I see where is the path. So I copy this. And then I write. So I enter on the next line. Okay. So that it will look more clearly to you guys. So I said Chrome driver exe. Let me check the spelling Chrome driver exe. Okay. Okay. So there is a difference. Okay. When you mention uh, this forward slash, this is nothing but a one. It times always break you or it will throw you error. So that time you need two so that it is not error. But when backward, then it is only single. So that works for any path. Okay. So this will work. And I said, okay. So I set my property and now I wanted to assign uh, my driver value that is a Chrome driver. Let's say. So this is what's my first step done. I again rerun the test runner class and we'll see what happened. So in my test runner class, it should open my Chrome browser at least. Yes, it is starting my Chrome driver. It should open, yes. And then it will throw you the again exception because in the next step, we have the exception. So I close this. So if you can see the first step open, but second step throw your pending exception. That is your exception mentioned here. <clears throat> okay, so what I said, what I need, I need to open a Chrome browser with the URL. So I said driver.k and what is my URL? So I go back to my browser and I copy this URL from here. I come back, add those URLs. So I said, this is my Chrome driver and my second step says open my URL. So this is my URL. So again, I save and this time we'll try if it works. So it's open and we'll see if it enters your URL there. Yes, so it enters your URL, but again, next step it's failed. There is a reason why we are going step by step so that you can understand it very thoroughly how to work on BDD. Okay. Now next step it says it says I wanted to enter my username. If I wanted to enter my username, I need to write a selenium code driver dot find element by dot. So we wanted to identify this element username. We go back, check here. It is name equals name. So by dot name equals a name. So this will help us. And I said dot, I wanted to put something. I wanted to put a text that is my username. So this is my next step is done. So I said driver dot find element by this and I wanted to send a user name. So let's execute this time. And we will check. It should open. Okay. It should enter your URL. Yes. It enters your user name also. Can you see here? So this time it enters your username, but again it fails because of your password and all other things. So I, I'll not wait 
more time on this and then we can write all our further code like driver dot find element by dot name i'm not sure what is the element attribute value so it is for password so we just copy this and i said it's a password i wanted to send that is my password okay same way i will enter for confirm password i said driver dot find element by dot name and i'm not sure again so the value is confirm password this time copy confirm password i said send keys and my password so these three things are done now I want to click on submit button it says. So I go back. I wanted to see what is submit. So submit name equals uh, insert. Okay, so we'll add this name equals insert here. So I say it. Driver dot find the remain by dot name. This time it's no it's it. And I say dot click so it's a button so we wanted to click here so it's an insert like okay and let's just click okay so so as of now i have entered couple of methods couple of step definition i have steps i have added so first is your open uh, i have a url then open url then enter user password confirm password click on submit now i wanted to validate the page title at this stage i'll simply print here rather than validating i'll simply write here driver dot get title okay i said driver dot get title and then i said the final i close the browser so closing the browser i said i want to close done so these whole steps are now implemented I wanted to see now it should enter my username, it should enter my password, it should enter my confirm password, it should click on insert or submit button and it should print my title and then close the browser. So let's go back. We have started our execution. Let's see. So it do all the operation and it will print you the register page. Okay, so now this is how a, a basic test of your um, uh, the feature file along with your step definition along with your test runner is executed now i wanted to uh, go more in detail about this cucumber options so in the cucumber options there are a multiple options i'll write one by one that is your dry run then uh, we have your features sorry uh, features then we have blue where we had the definitions then we have tags if we have added tags then only those tags will execute and then we have some of the monochrome then we have a format okay in the format where we mentioned the html report and all we'll add those also and so so strict is also one one thing so let's jump again and i'll show you something now so most of the time what error we'll do i'll show you so now let's go back to your feature file i change this to just browser now okay i change this to browser now and here instead after this i have added a dry run dry run equals to by default dry run value is false so currently I am setting that values to true. So what dry run says before execution, it will tell you the failures. So if you can see, it will tell you the failure. So let's say immediately and it will not execute. Okay. So let's see, see what it says. It will not execute and it will says 
given this step is not yet implemented within your code this step is not yet implemented within your code why because we just remove a chrome from here open chrome browser we were written but now we remove so that's why it says okay it is still missing this was the error dry run given you now let's say i remove this dry run and how it works i'll show you both the way so let's say i remove and now i wanted to run this step again so once i run again so without dry run it will open my browser first because it was my first step but in the second it will throw me this error can you see this in the second it will throw me this error this is a difference so if you have the dry run it will not do any of the steps it will first check whether all the step definition steps are implemented if those are not implemented it will guide you at the initial stage itself but without dry run it will not so this is how dry run works now let's say control set i have this dry run and i go back to my package explorer here okay and i change this okay so i i said okay so let's say i come back to my original test in test runner also i have dry run this time so this time this step is already implemented because we just removed chrome now we just added chrome so it should run so let's run the program so let's run the program so can you see it is not yet run it is not yet run the reason is most of the time the mistake that every automation tester is doing that is because you added here a dry run it is only a dry run to validate whether all the step definitions are implemented or not it will not tell you if this step definition is missing this time because all the step definition are by default implemented and dry run is dry run is true then it will not execute the actual test that's the reason and most of the time we try to identify why my test is not yet executed this is the reason because dry run is activated dry run is true on this uh, particularly on your test okay so i remove this dry run now and now i try to run this code again so now if you can see it started it opens the test now okay so and it will do all the operations this is how it works so this time there is no dry run and if you can see this so i hope you understand this language i know most of us we are not understand this language so there is a different way also to handle this so let's say i make this there is another one to read this line more in better way so i say monochrome equals true so monochrome says you can read this line in a better way that means this is your console output okay and now this monochrome make it more in a readable form so let's run this test again so that we came to know so currently what happened it will show you everything here right so now let's run and we'll see how that test is executed this time so by default this monochrome value is false okay see what it says this time it's very readable format so if you can see i have started this i have printed this my title then i says one scenario that is passed and how many steps so i have eight steps and all eight steps are passed and what is the milliseconds it will take so 16 seconds it will take to execute this, this test 
This is how monochrome works. So by default, monochrome value is false. So monochrome help you to make a better readable form in your console output. Okay. So now I will show you one important that is I, I can generate now this as a HTML report. I know this the, the older version I do have. So that's why it is showing you in this form. So I said format equals HTML. And I said the path. So I can get the path of my HTML report if I do have here. Okay. So I can click this path, go back, add this as a HTML. So I'm going to add my HTML report here, which can be more in readable format. Okay. So let's try, let's execute and we'll see what it will happen. So we executed again, rerun this test. Okay. So we go back to your HTML report and we'll see if it is updated. Okay. So let's try to open this. Okay, if you can see, uh, this is all my data, which we can see there, the template. This is my feature, that is registration page. Once I click, it says this is my scenario and these are my steps. So I have a URL and all this is passed, though it is in a uh, great. So this scenario I have executed <clears throat> and I can see this as my uh, HTML report and I can see this is my output. Very simple. You can create your HTML report in a different way. You can customize this report. So we need to go more in detail about customization on this report. You can make it in a tabular form. You can create or you can make it in a proper readable format. You can do so many things within the uh, this customized report. You can add a different scenarios within the same report as well. You can append those reports within and combine it to a one report as well. That is all possible within this. So now I go back. So this is my format and HTML report. So I remove this. And so there are different uh, format of HTML report. So HTML is one, then you can create a JSON report. You can create a normal SC report. All those you can uh, create it here. Okay. Okay. Now, now I, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to my test. So this is all basic things. Now we go back in the feature file. And now we change this value. Now we change this value. I said I wanted to do this as a parameterization. So if you can, if you know the parameterization, so most of the time we heard what is parameterization. So parameterization is we maintain our test data somewhere in the data source. <clears throat> so data source may be your uh, Excel, your CSV, then your XML, the JSON file, your text file, properties file, database, your mainframe, all those are your data sources. I wanted to maintain those from this feature file. So I wanted to add all my test data from this feature file. I said I wanted to enter a username from here, which is nothing but an input parameter. I wanted to enter this username and which is nothing but a username for that parameter. 